Hello, couple of cameras today from um, AKK Tech who've been sending me a, a few things to uh, check out recently. This is the AKK KC28 and the AKK CA30. Pretty unimaginative boxes, so let's get right on with the cameras. So first one we're going to look at is the uh, KC28 and I've already got it installed on the plane to save time. But very interesting in terms of how it came because it looks exactly like the Luminaire SMC600 which looks like this little thing in this quad which gives a pretty good picture for a little CMOS camera I took a quick picture of both cameras next to a Runcam Swift 2 so you can see the size comparison so on the left here we have the KC28 uh, the middle, the CA30 and obviously the Runcam at the end there now, and you'll see one interesting thing with this uh, KC28 is it comes with this little bit at the bottom that's the bottom of the camera so it's very hard to mount if that's there so the first thing you need to do is hack that off. I happen to have the Luminaire camera out of the quad while I was putting that quad back together and you can see the form factor is pretty identical other than the fact there's a load of hot glue on the Luminaire one because it got smashed apart and the sensor got moved. Uh, another interesting point if you look at this one is there's actually what appears to be a, a voltage regulator in the middle so presumably you could give it a, a different power supply. But um, yeah what I did is I went ahead and hacked off after you, you take away the shrink wrap, you've got this hard plastic bit, you hack that off and you can put it on something and mount it a lot easier. What I did with this one is I stuck a Eachine VTX-03 on the back to give it a nice compact VTX. So here's the camera mounted in the plane. This is the Wii Wing 2 and I've got a separate video about this. But what I'm going to be talking about in this video is the quality of this camera and of course the other one. So we'll take this out we'll fly it and we'll see how this performs. I've got high hopes because although these are just little CMOS sensors, the one in the Luminaire version in here is actually very good. Um, it handles light reasonably well for a CMOS sensor um, and I've been getting consistently pretty good uh, image from it. Hopefully this one will be the same. The other one, the CA30, also already installed. Interesting again in terms of the form factor of how they look almost exactly the same as something else. What I've got on my original Wii Wing was this EA Sheen um, CCD and they've got the 1000 TV lines. Um, and this form factor again is absolutely identical to this one here. This is the AKK one. It states very clearly it's a CMOS sensor where the EA Sheen would have us to believe it's CCD. I've coupled this up with um, the other AKK 600 milliwatt VTX which is way too much for this little uh, train plane. In fact, I don't know if this is going to fly at all really. This is, um, I got this from Banggood as a, as a review thing. It's, it's a pretty basic train plane. I was going to talk about putting a very small VTX system on it. And to be fair, I probably wouldn't have hooked this up with this uh, VTX, but I had it and I thought I'd try it. So there you go. Um, I thought it might give quite an interesting view over the prop. I think I'll pretty much be happy if it flies. But again, it's CMOS sensor, um, famous for not having particularly good light handling capabilities, but nice and compact. The idea being these can go on sort of more micro builds where your conventional uh, CCD sensor won't fit. Although there are much smaller CCD cameras now, like the, uh, the Runcam Micro, for example. So uh, a big wide area of possibilities have opened up. These are a lot cheaper though. So yeah, let's take these both out for a fly. We'll see how the cameras cope, shall we? So let's start with the AKK CA30 on the Volantex. Here we are taking off. And uh, there's a couple of obvious things here, one of which is we seem to have a bit of a, a wonky prop or motor, which I haven't actually checked out to be fair. Uh, it seems to come good at certain motor frequencies, but otherwise it's a little bit wobbly, but we'll have to ignore that bit. Now, it's also fair to say we've got a pretty nice sunny day and that's always going to bring out the best in these cameras. But as far as this one goes, you know, I'm really pretty happy with it. It's uh, The colours seem pretty bright and true. There's not much noise in the picture. It seems like a pretty nice um, picture overall. The weird thing here is they're both 2.8mm lenses. But for me, the, the view here looks slightly constrained. I, I think that's just because of what most of the nose in the shot there. 
I, I just feel like I needed a, a pan for this one, but I've probably already got enough stuffed in this little trainer. So yeah, really no complaint on this one. It um, it it looks pretty good, I think. So moving over now on the Wii Wing 2, the KC28, and if you go ahead and watch the Wii Wing 2 review, you'll see a lot more footage from this as well. And again, this does seem pretty nice as well. There is a difference though, and if I had to put my finger on it and say what's different, I'd say this looks a little bit noisy, and perhaps the brightness is not quite right. It looks a little bit oversaturated, a little bit like it's whiting out and blooming on the um, on the very white areas. So I thought a good thing to do was to put them side by side. So if we move to that now, and you can see the CA30 on the Valentex, the, the bigger one on the left, and the KC28 on the Wii Wing on the right. And this seems to show us that the, the colour reproduction on the CA30 looks better. That looks truer to me. The grass as well seems a little bit overly green and yellow on the on the KC28 on the right there. I mean, it's complicated a little bit by the fact that on the Valantix on the left, I'm using a 600 milliwatt VTX with a skew planar antenna. And on the Wii Wing 2 on the right, I've got a 25 milliwatt VTX with um, a linear sleeve dipole antenna. And that's possibly adding to the noise a little bit. At the same time, though, they're, they're both doing a, a good job, and I'm not unhappy with either of them. I'd be perfectly happy to have this on uh, on a plane. I guess the trade-off I'm getting for a slightly less weight on the KC-28 is not quite as true a colour reproduction as on a CA-30, but I'm getting that weight saving, so that, that does count for something if you're on a real microplane. Again, putting a 600 milliwatt VTX um along with the CA30 is, is not really what I'm aiming to do. This to me is to really replace the very hyper wide angle camera you get with these um, little all-in-one VTXs and cameras where the distortion on the corners is, is very bad and you can't really use them for planes. They work in tiny micro quads but nothing else. You'll see that both these cameras don't face any of that distortion and they've got a, a good picture all throughout the turns. So yeah, depending on your project, you can't really go wrong with either. They both run off five volts. The one on the Wii Wing 2, it's all running uh, VTX camera, a couple of servos, all running off a tiny little back on a um, on a six amp ESE without a problem. Anyway, links of course, once again, are in the description from AKK Tech. At time of publication, they still haven't got their Amazon store set up in Europe. Once that happens, I'll update with that information. But for now, I will catch you in the next one. Bye.